ladies and gentlemen, we now present the sound of Western. Please welcome to the stage the director of the Bronco Marching Band, Professor John Leonard, for some introductory remarks. Hello, welcome everybody. My name is John Leonard. I'm the Interim Assistant Director of Bands here at Western Michigan University, the Director of the Band. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us this afternoon for our concert. Uh, we've had a very successful season that we're excited to share with you about. Some of the great things that we've had uh, started way back in the beginning with a really great band camp, earlier than usual because of the earlier school date, but everybody got here. It was fantastic. Then we had a game uh, the Friday of the first week of classes. We had the first day of classes was Wednesday, and then we came out on Friday, and we started playing for the football team. Uh, we got to bring the band to Michigan, which was awesome. Um, you know, endured a lot of the, the heat, and then immediately the cold, uh, and as well, always the rain. Always the rain. Uh, but it's been a fantastic season, and we're just so happy to have you all here, and I hope that you enjoy our uh, playthrough of all of the 2018 repertoire. Actually, it's not even all the 2018 repertoire. We have such a full season. Starting on Monday, we'll be learning a fifth show that you won't hear tonight. So you'll have to come to the last football game to hear that. But please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you for coming. The Bronco Band would like to perform a piece that has a long history here at Western Michigan University and is now played at every home pregame show. Go Western was written in early 1950 by then director of bands, Mr. Leonard Moretta. Mr. Moretta was the director of bands at WMU from 1945 to 1972. During that time and well after, he always embodied the true spirit of Western. Please welcome senior field assistant Catherine Persack. Katie is from Jenison, Michigan, and serves the band as senior field assistant. She is a vocal music education major. This is her sixth year in the band and second as senior field assistant. And now, go Western. Another traditional part of every pregame show at a Western football game is hot time. This fun piece is also used as a stands cheer after the Broncos score extra points following touchdowns. Conducting the band is Tori Stevens. Tori is from Hillsdale, Michigan and serves the band as senior field assistant. 
She is a music therapy major, and this is her fourth year in the band and first as senior field assistant. show of the season was a program of Latin marching band classics. We opened with an arrangement of Malaguena, made famous by the Stan Kenton Orchestra, as well as the Madison Scouts Drum and Bugle Corps. This arrangement features trombone soloist Mitch Trizice and trumpet soloist Noah Miller, James Van Benicum, and Jake Klink. Drum major Hannah Bentley will conduct the band. Hannah is in her third year in the Bronco Band, second as drum major. She is studying business management and is from Clio, Michigan.
the show concludes with Chuck Mangione's Legend of the One-Eyed Sailor, made famous in the band world by Blue Devils Drum and Bugle Corps. We feature soloist Jake Klink on trumpet and Peyton Gagliardi on trombone. Drum major Morgan Fleming will be conducting the band. Morgan is a senior majoring in instrumental music education and is from Marysville, Michigan. This is her fourth year in the band and first as drum major. At this time, Professor Leonard and the Bronco Band would like to say a special thank you to the president of Western Michigan University, Dr. Edward Montgomery. Although only in his second year as president at WMU, Dr. Montgomery has already proven to be a huge supporter of the Bronco Band, and we appreciate all that he does. The quality seen on stage today and throughout the season is possible in large part because of the support of the WMU administration. Next, we'd like to thank Director of Athletics, Kathy Beauregard, and all of her staff. The Department of Intercollegiate Athletics has continually been an avid supporter of the band, and we are thankful for all of their support. We'd also like to thank head football coach Tim Lester, his staff, and the players on the football team for their support of the Bronco Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in showing our appreciation for all these valuable supporters. For our second home game of the season, the Bronco Marching Band welcomed over 850 high school students to Waldo Stadium for our annual band day, breaking the previous attendance record by nearly 200 students. Many people worked hard to organize the event, but not more than our former Bronco Band Administrator, Administrative Assistant, Mylon Vo. Mylon received a full teaching appointment as director of, director of bands in the Three Rivers school system at the start of the school year, but graciously continued to work for the Bronco Band in order to help plan this major event. Please join us in showing our appreciation to Mylon for her work this season as well as for the past five years. Our Band Day show kicks off with two hits from Lady Gaga, written in 2011, 
Born This Way, became the fastest selling song on iTunes with over a million downloads in the first week. We follow this with Bad Romance, which won Gaga the Grammy Award for both female pop vocal performance and the best short form music video in 2011. Drum major Morgan Fleming is back to conduct the band. conclude our band a set with Runaway Baby by Bruno Mars. Drum major Jaron Kirschenbaum will conduct the band. Jaron is in his fourth year in the Bronco Band and this is his first as drum major. He is studying music education and is from West Bloomfield, Michigan. Thank you. 
At this time, we'd like to thank the Dean of the College of Fine Arts, Dan Guyette, for his support and enthusiasm for the Bronco Marching Band. Dean Guyette is a big fan of the DMB, and we are grateful for his support. We'd also like to say thank you to Professor Brad Wong, Director of the School of Music, for his faithful leadership and support of the DMB. Lastly, we offer a big thank you to Dr. Scott Borma, Director of Bands, for all of his support at this season. We appreciate everything that each of you do, both seen and unseen, to help make the Bronco Band the best band in the MAC. Another important part of every home football game is the Bronco Band's post-game concert. Our next selection is a traditional part of every post-game performance. We now feature our clarinet section and trumpet soloist James Van Benicum in this beautiful arrangement of Amazing Grace. Also featured are our senior color guard members with their beautiful visual presentation. Conducting is senior assistant Katie Leroy. Katie is a fourth year member of the band and is from Chelsea, Michigan. She is studying health informatics and information management. piece features the WMU dance team in this hometown favorite, I've Got a Gal in Kalamazoo. We'd like to thank the dance team for all their hard work and everything they add to each and every game. Drum Major Hannah Bentley is back to conduct the band.
We hope that you have enjoyed the first half of our performance today. During intermission, we will have many Bronco Band apparel items for sale in the lobby, including the popular DMB pillows, which were made from our old uniforms. We also have some of the old uniform jackets and shako hats for sale. These two are wonderful souvenir items and are only available through the BMB. Finally, pre-orders are also available for our season and review DVD that will include video of all of our halftime shows along with today's concert and much more. These items will also be on sale at the end of today's concert. We'll continue the Sounds of Western after a 15 minute intermission.
Many sections of the band annually create their own section songs. These have become very popular among the students in the band, and we'd like to present some of them for you today. We begin with our piccolo section. Please welcome section leaders Brittany Vissa and Bronte Spondike as they conduct our piccolos in this year's section song, Friend Like Me, from the movie Aladdin. We have our clarinets. This year they've chosen Toto's Africa as their song. Section leaders Alyssa Hucko and Heather Price will conduct. We now move to the alto saxophones. Section leader Jonathan Holder and Nicole Peters will conduct in the, the altos in their section song entitled Nostalgic Nickelodeon Jams. <laughs> Thank you. 
The tenor saxophones are up next. Their section song this year is Take Me Home, Country Roads. Section leader Matthew Harrell is conducting. Now for the mellophones. Section leaders Rainy Cooch and Jeff Weatherford will conduct the mellows in an arrangement they've entitled A Mellophone Fantasy. Now I'll turn to our trombones. The trombones have put together an arrangement of the Avengers theme. Section leader Tom Bowman will conduct the trombones.
are the Baritones. They will be performing the theme from Polar Express, from the movie Polar Express. Section leaders Eric Brzezinski and Tyler Walker are conducting. Trumpets have been playing beer barrel polka for many years, and this year is no exception. Please welcome section leaders Ryan Arnaldi, Jake Klink, and Noah Miller to conduct our trumpets in this fun arrangement. For many years, our tuba section has come up with fun arrangements that we lovingly call tuba tricks. At this time, we would like to feature our tuba section as they perform for you this year's tuba trick. Section leader Joe Arndt and Jacob Norman will be conducting. Their selection is Blue Suede's 1974 hit, Hooked on a Feeling. Thank <laughs> you. 
popular tunes at Bronco football games is Hey Baby. Please join the tubas as they lead the Bronco band in this fun arrangement. Hey, feel free to sing along. drum majors back to the stage as they take us through a typical game at Waldo Stadium. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Waldo Stadium. It's definitely a great day to be a Bronco as the Western Michigan football team is looking for a victory against their rival, the Chippewas of Central Michigan. <laughs> the Broncos are looking strong tonight with their 6-4 and four record and are likely to take home a win, especially with the help of the sound of Western, the Western Michigan University Bronco Marching Band! Now welcome our guests, the Chippewas of CMU. toss and have chosen to defer and kick it off to the chips. <laughs> and the game is now underway as the Broncos stop the chips just short of the 20-yard line. After a couple good defensive plays, the chips are set back with a third and long. The quarterback drops back. Finds an open man. He throws. Oh, and it's deflected by the Broncos, bringing a fourth down. Broncos are shooting for an explosive start. Ellaby hikes the ball, fakes to the running back, and makes a break for it. He's brought down at the 40-yard line, which is good for another Bronco first down. After such an exciting play, we are going to have to take a media break and turn it over to the Bronco Marching Band for some fun stand cheers.
exciting game at the start of the fourth quarter with both teams still scoreless. You know what that means. Game winding down. We see the ships closing in on the end zone and going for it on fourth down and for going for first down on fourth and short. The ball is snapped. He's looking down the lane, but he takes too long and the Broncos rush in and sack the quarterback. Turnover on downs. With mere seconds left in the game, the Broncos are set up in a Hail Mary situation, looking to score a touchdown. Alibi snaps, and everyone is heading downfield. It's up in the air. The Broncos go for it, and it's caught. Touchdown, Broncos! Western wins!
At this time, Professor Lennick would like to say a big thank you to the Miller Auditorium crew and staff. Their help and expertise in producing this concert and all school of music events each year is invaluable and most appreciated. We are grateful for your professionalism and willingness to go the extra mile so we can have successful performances. For our homecoming show this year, we presented music of the funk and fusion genres. We opened our show with Tower of Power's What is Hip? This arrangement features the Bronco Band Color Guard, Twirlers, and trumpet soloists Kaz Mehar and Jared Jagar. Drum majors like Jaron Kirschenbaum is back to conduct the band. <coughs> our homecoming set with the answer to the question posed in our opening song, What is Hip? It's the 1977 hit from the fusion band Weather Report, Birdland. We feature trumpet soloist Jake Klink and tenor sax soloist Chase Griffin. Drum major Hannah Bentley is back to conduct the band.
Ladies and gentlemen, several of the students on stage are giving their final season and review performance with the Bronco Band today as they prepare for graduation. They've all dedicated themselves to their time, commitment, and hard work. Many of them hold leadership positions in the band and will be greatly missed. At our final home football game, we will recognize each one individually, but today we recognize them collectively. Help us show our appreciation to our senior members as they stand to be recognized. Thank you. Earlier this year, the Bronco Band held an arranging competition. The theme of the competition was Broadway music. Students submitted anonymous arrangements and two winners were selected. Our next selection is Mamma Mia and was arranged by Bronco drumline bass drummer Shane Howell. Shane is a sophomore majoring in mechanical engineering. Drum major Hannah Bentley is back to conduct the band. band keeps the beat going with this Broadway smash hit from Hairspray. You can't stop the beat. Hairspray opened in 2002 and won eight Tony Awards, including Best Musical. This arrangement will feature Color Guard and the Western Michigan University dance team. Drum major Morgan Fleming is back to conduct the band.
final Broadway selection was written by senior music composition major Ethan Fagan, who also serves as senior field assistant with the band. From the stage adaptation of the Disney animated classic Beauty and the Beast, this is the Act One finale, Be Our Guest. Drum major Jaron Kirschenbaum is back to conduct the band. At this time, please welcome Professor Leonard back to the stage as we recognize this year's staff members and for some final thoughts. Thank you very much. I brought my notes so that I would not miss anybody because everybody here is so important. Uh, the first people that I'd like to recognize are the B&B &B student staff that we have within the band. Uh, the first group of people I'd like to stand will be our drill instructors in each section, if you could stand and be recognized. And another essential part of the process, of course, are our section leaders in each section. If those people could stand and be recognized, section leaders. We also have many uh, other staffs within the band that help with the various processes that we have. Uh, we have an attendance staff, a uniform staff, a game day staff, uh, community service, the color guard equipment managers. If all those people could stand and be recognized as well, and some of them are the same people again. Let's recognize those people.
couple other thank yous. Uh, Steve Seattle is one of our band parents who has graciously uh, uh, agreed to help us out the last couple years. Actually, not so much agreed as just volunteered to uh, take a lot of photos and video of the band, and we're very appreciative of all this work. Uh, I know he's here tonight. Can we thank Steve, please? Dr. Little is our announcer in the back of the room. Uh, I mean this as a compliment. I haven't even seen him in a couple of weeks. He just comes in and he knows his stuff cold. All I do is email him the script and he's awesome. There he is waving in the back. Hi, David. <laughs> a couple other people that helped us out with the show tonight. I'd like to thank uh, Carter Way, who played drum set for the opening. Can we thank Carter, please? And of course, Buster the Bronco. Can we thank Buster for being here? And one more time for the WMU dance team as well. Uh, some people that I want to start bringing up on stage. Uh, we have three feature twirlers here. Uh, Brianna Bollinger, Troy Crowley, and Claire Wilachowski, if we could bring them out. the spacing, but we are going to fill the stage. <laughs> uh, we have an excellent student, student uh, media staff led by Chris Wallace and also assisted by uh, Jordan Ferguson, Matt Garrett, Lori Kirkpatrick, and Teresa Strobel. Can we thank all of them, please? I don't know if she's backstage because I'm not sure if I communicated this with her, but I do want to thank our drumline assistant, Erin Emery. If you're here, please come on up, but let's thank Erin. I know, I know the drumline, yay! I know the drumline appreciates everything that she's done all season. Uh, the members of our senior staff, we have an excellent uh, equipment coordinator in Alex Nowart. We have four great senior field assistants this year, Jared Black, Ethan Fagan, Katie Persack, and Tori Stevens. And our senior assistant this year, actually in her second year in that role, that also does quite a bit of work in the office for us, Katie Leroy. We have four graduate assistants with the band, thankfully, that do an immense amount of work behind the scenes uh, making things happen, as well as helping out on the field with uh, anything that's thrown at them. They're basically assistant directors of the band. Uh, two full-time graduate assistants, Vince Rubino and Rob Abend. And our part-time grad assistants that put in basically 95% as much work as those guys, Levi, Le Levi Rickert, ah! Levi Rickert, and Connor Sprunger. I'm sorry. We have a brand new administrative assistant with us, Carly Holmes. Let's please welcome Carly for the first time. Our professional staff uh, with the drumline in his 11th year as the drumline coordinator, we have Landon Ewers, and as well his assistants Colin Bizarre, Kyle Gulau, and Joe Listing. <laughs> Our fantastic visual co coordinator, uh, she's really been behind the scenes this entire show putting this together for us, Kyle Kaiser. And Landon and Kyle have really done just an incredible amount of stuff this entire season to help me. So I'm a very uh, appreciative of everything that you've done. The institutional knowledge when a, a new band director takes over is so important. And we're so glad that you both stayed on uh, to help make this happen. So thank you. Uh, somebody else that has been an immense amount of help is uh, my boss, the director of bands, Dr. Scott Borma. Can we please welcome my out? Of 
for all the people that we thought thanks throughout the, uh, the, the concert. Uh, we tried to space it out so that it wasn't all at the end, but uh, it's very important to have these people up on stage to thank them in person. I want to thank you again for coming. Uh, it's so great to have such a, a huge crowd. I, I really didn't know that there would be this many people, and I'm so thankful that there are. Uh, if you're looking to, uh, if there are alumni here, we are going to play the alma mater when I'm concluded, and you should come up on stage and join us for that. I didn't introduce the drummers. It's okay. I remember two years ago, David didn't introduce Scott, and that was fun too. Um, saving the best for last, of course. Three people that wear the fancy white uniform. Can we thank our drum majors, Morgan Fleming, Hannah Bentley, and Gary Christian. We have said their names a lot tonight. <laughs> uh, so again, if the alumni wanted to come up and join us on stage for the alma mater, that'll be the last thing that we'll be doing. Uh, we will have some things still for sale out in the lobby that we encourage you to purchase. Everyone that would help you with those purchases is currently standing on stage. So I do ask that you give them a moment to get back there to help you with that. Uh, if you want to see the band, there's a couple more times that you can see us locally. We'll be playing in the Kalamazoo Holiday Parade this Saturday at 11 a.m. Uh, and then, of course, there's the last home game, which is on Tuesday, November 20th. Uh, the football team is still in the running for the MAC championship. Um, and, of course, we're bowl eligible as well, so every game is important, and we're looking forward to supporting the team one more time at home before we do those other things. So thank you again all for coming, and now the alma mater.
Thank you for attending the 2018 Bronco Marching Band a Season in Review. We hope that you've enjoyed the many sounds of the Bronco Band. Please join us again for our final home football game on Tuesday, November 20th. Finally, don't forget to visit our tables in the lobby to stock up on your Bronco Band gear. Best wishes to you all, and have a wonderful holiday season.